this question says that the diagram shows part of a curve y equals 27 minus x square. The point P and S lie on the curve. The points Q and R lie on the x-axis. PQRS is a rectangle. The length of OQ is T units. Find the length of PQ in terms of T. Okay, so we need this length in terms of T. And this length is going to be the value of y here. And the value of y here is going to be uh, dependent on this equation. For example, if x were 2 here, then this value of y here would be 27 minus 2 square. But y x is t here, not 2, it's t. So y is going to be 27 minus t square. This is the length of this line, 27 minus t square. Now we need an expression for area of this rectangle. That's going to be length times width. The length is t plus t 2t. And the uh, vertical length is 27 minus t square. Let's multiply them. Area equals... Just a second. Okay. Area equals length times width. So it's going to be 2t times 27 minus t square. Expand. We get 54t minus 2t cubed. Part 2. Given that t can vary, find the value of t for which a has a stationary value. Okay. So, stationary value means we will have to derive this function and equate it to 0. So, dA upon dt equals 54 minus 6t squared equated to 0. 54 is equals to 6t squared t squared is equals to 9, t is equals to plus minus 3, but we are only going to take 3 because t is the length, this length which is going to be positive. Okay, so the answer is 3. Find this, the stationary value of a. Okay, for part 3, we are going to substitute 3 in the equation for t. which gives 108 and determine whether it's nature. So the stationary point that we found, stationary point is x comma y, which is 3 comma 108. Now we have to determine whether it's maximum point or minimum point. So dA upon dt, we already know 54 minus 60 squared. Second derivation, is going to be minus 12 t and you replace t with 3 so we get a negative value which is negative 36 and you write this since this is smaller than 0 so that this turning point is going to be maximum 